Welcome to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute training video, XPR Torch Consumable Inspection. This short video will demonstrate points to look for when doing a consumable inspection and will also highlight common points of consumable wear. After viewing this video, you will be able to properly inspect XPR consumables for wear and correlate wear of consumables to possible causes. In preparation for consumable installation, power must be removed from the XPR power supply. Turn the station off. Before you remove power to the plasma power supply, it is recommended to save cutting machine program and position information on your CNC. Set the line disconnect switch to the off position. Consult your maintenance department or qualified electrician if you are not familiar with doing this. Verify the green power LED is not illuminated on the plasma power supply, gas connect console, or torch connect console. Prepare a clean work area for consumable inspection. Remove the torch body from the receptacle. Remove the consumables from the torch body. The power supply instruction manual found on the USB memory stick included with the system or downloaded from hypertherm.com includes a maintenance section. This section details points to look for during consumable inspection. Reference these manual pages while examining the consumable parts. Inspection will begin with the shield cap. The shield cap protects the consumables and mates with the shield. Common causes of damage are failed torch sensing, torch crashes, or tip-up collisions. When inspecting the shield cap, look for physical damage, torn or missing o-rings, and attached melted material. Melted material can be removed if no damage is present. If any damage is found, replacement is needed. Inspection inside the shield cap may find darkening on the upper portion. This is normal and due to coolant flow. In the same area, you may also find a pink coloring. This is also due to coolant flow and is normal. Darkening or pink colorization does not reduce performance of the shield cap. The next component is the shield, which protects the consumables from pure spatter as well as assisting in gas flow. Common causes of damage are like the shield cap, but also include piercing too closely, using the incorrect amperage, or being dropped. Cut quality can be compromised due to a damaged shield. When inspecting the shield, look for a center hole that is not circular or damaged. If damage is present, replacement is needed damaged, missing, or over-lubricated o-rings. Over-lubricated o-rings should be cleaned with a paper towel or lint-free cloth. The inside of the shield may show dark spots. This is normal and is due to coolant flow. Last, inspect the inside ring of the shield to be sure the ports are not clogged and no cracks or damage is present. Next, the nozzle retaining cap is responsible for directing coolant and gas flow. Cut quality can be compromised due to a damaged nozzle retaining cap. When inspecting the nozzle retaining cap, look for damage, cracks, or deformity to the body or top ring. Replace the nozzle retaining cap if either are found. Debris may be found clogging gas ports and can be cleaned with compressed air. The nozzle retaining cap may also show signs of discoloration due to coolant flow. Darkening or pink colorization can occur on the upper inside area. Pink coloring may also be found underneath the plastic. If water is used for cooling, no pink coloring will occur. Darkening and pink colorization cases are normal and does not degrade consumable performance. Next, the nozzle is responsible for constricting the plasma arc and is imperative to be in good condition to obtain good cut quality. The nozzle can become damaged due to poor gas quality, lower than recommended gas pressure settings, pilot arc circuit problems, or over usage. When inspecting the nozzle, look for damage, blocked gas holes, blackened signs of arcing, a center hole that is not circular, and missing or damaged o-rings. If any of these signs are found, the nozzle needs to be replaced. If the nozzle is to be replaced, the electrode should also be replaced. Scaling may be found caused by factors including amperage used, length of use, or temperature. 
wipe scaling away as needed. Next, the swirl ring is responsible for the directing and metering of gas flow. Commonly, the swirl ring is damaged due to incorrect installation, being dropped, or incorrectly lubricated. When inspecting the swirl ring, look for chips, cracks, blocked gas holes, and missing or damaged O-rings. If any of these examples are found, replace the swirl ring. Dirt or debris can be removed using compressed air. O-rings should be lubricated properly and no excessive lubrication should be blocking gas holes. The final consumable is the electrode. The electrode is the contact point of the cutting arc. Always use the tightening tool when installing the electrode. Electrode damage is commonly due to overusage, incorrect amperage setting, low coolant flow, or incorrect gas type used. When inspecting the electrode, look for emitter wear in the surface of the electrode center. Using a pit depth gauge, measure the center pit depth to be sure it is not greater than one millimeter or 40 thousandths of an inch. For 300 amp mild steel electrodes, replace the electrode when the pit depth is 1.5 millimeters or 60 thousandths of an inch or greater. If an electrode needs replacement, always replace the nozzle at the same time as the electrode. If O-rings are damaged, replacement is needed. Also, inspect for proper lubrication of O-rings. This concludes our video of XPR consumable inspection. Thank you for watching this video. For more XPR videos and more, please log on to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute.